Hey guys, Fisipira here. No, I'm not dead. As you can see, I've moved to a new place. And still unpacking, as you can tell. That's why I haven't been on World of Tanks and stuff like that on my TV yet to review even the latest tanks that came out. And my hair is a mess. But I figured I had been gone a little bit too long and I wanted to review what you saw in the title, what you're going to see, because I'm a big fan of pretty much G.I. Joes and stuff like that and their villains and stuff. So today, I'm going to review some more Legos. And that Legos, as you can already tell by me just saying that, and by the title, I'm going to review three G.I. Joe Legos. The first one I'm going to review is the Ninja Commander one, which I will open that one up in a second. Um, the Sky Starter, the one with the jet plane, and, of course, I had to get this, if anyone knows from the last video, the Hiss. I had to get it. So, before I even start this, um, I don't have, like, a table in front of me, so I have to borrow, like, a green thing over there. So this is going to be an interesting video to do. Also, not to mention, um, if you hear sound effects sensors, I can't control that, so I apologize, audience. And... And I would not make a quick shout out because this was given to me by my mother. Because um, I love G.I. Joe and she saw the video I did and, you know, she wanted me to um, do these as well. And I figured that was a fair deal. And so, yeah, let's get started opening these. Now, the first one we're going to obviously look at, like I just said, is the Ninja Commander 4x4 Jeep thing. Which is, I'm sorry about the lighting. I wonder, hang on just a minute. I want to see if it's better without the light. Uh, not really. I have to figure out how the lighting's going to work in this thing, so my apologies. So, yeah, that's the Jeep one. It comes with a little figurine and it comes with the buggy Jeep thing, which kind of looks cool. It look, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of looks like the Brotherhood of Nod. So, it's kind of funny seeing a vehicle like that. So, here's what it looks like on the back. There's other G.I. Joe ones. There's the um, Snowcat. There's the Ninja Speeder Cycle. The, and obviously, we're going to review the Sky one. And then the um, Super Vehicle Patrol, which is like a bunch of rockets and stuff. According to what it says here, it says 100 pieces. I don't see 100 pieces on there. I mean, it looks like like 50 pieces or like 30 because of the way how it looks but maybe i'm wrong so let's open this up yeah. Sorry. got more boxes than in the box oh okay so in case you're wondering too audience i don't know how to show you the cover of the it's got two compartments open up on this so this must be the 100 pieces but Again, it doesn't feel like a hundred pieces, but I'll let that go. And let's see how this is going to work. Unfortunately, this is the smallest table I got right now. Uh, so it's got a front and back instruction book. And, of course, you got to put in your own little stickers on the back of it. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to open this up, and then we'll talk about at the end what it's like. And see you at the end.
Okay, guys. I build the first thing, and this is what it looks like, but there's a lot to talk about here. Whoever designed this to build this little vehicle car is an idiot. An idiot. This is literally the worst build I have ever built. Now, you're probably wondering, how could that be, Fury? Well, as a starter, there's nothing holding this together. Literally, you tap it just once. This part right here comes off. The roof. God, we'll get to that in a minute. The roof comes to part very easily. The wheels and stuff. I mean, it's a cool looking car. I mean, it looks like one of those, you know, Brotherhood of Nod attack buggies, which is really cool. However, I had to use some of my bag Legos that are extra to fix it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you look in here very, very closely, I'll hold this up. This piece right here. I had to put another one in, then I had to put an extra one in the front that is gray here, so I had to do that to keep it from falling apart because there was only little pieces holding all this up together. I don't know why they can't do a long piece with a whole thing sticking out of it to make it easier on me, but no, I had to improvise. Um, the other part too, um, I didn't like about this, um, there's no stickers thing. Like, they got the stickers right here, and if you look on the box, there's the stickers on the side of the car, but there is no instructions. Actually, where is the instruction book? There's no instructions whatsoever to show where the stickers go. So, I got stickers here, which I don't even know where they go. I mean, I can look at the box and say, oh, the sticker goes there, there. I don't know where the caution sign would go, but that's my point. You don't even know where all the stickers go. And it's like so irritating. So my final verdict for this. Oh, by the way, I had to build the scorpion guy and the Lego guy is weird. First of all, most the arms are bent forward. Unlike in a traditional Lego. Do I have one? Hang on guys. I'm just going to use a random yellow dude. The Lego arms are usually bent a little bit forward, but you can see the iconic way how they bent their arms and stuff like that. It makes more sense. This one, they curve it in way too in more, and it looks more like sausages than arms. So, yeah, I don't really like the Lego guy. Also, the legs are way different if you can put two to two together with the legs. This one's more bulky with some feet on it with curvatures where the Lego dude feels more like a Lego pants, which makes sense, but you get what I'm saying. So final verdict with this. After having to replace all the pieces, it's very fragile. No way to put the stickers on it to know unless you look at the box. I'm sorry, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 10. And this is an awful start. We still got two more boxes down there. So without further ado, let's keep going. Okay, audience, here we are. We're going to start off with the next one, the jet one. Keep the box steady. Mm. I guess it's going to be, have to be like that. So, I got our next pieces and our next foot with, with the stickers. Whew, this is going to be interesting. All right, let's get started.
folks, I built this one, and I must say it's a better improvement than um, the Jeep one. This one actually stayed together, except for a couple of minor problems. Pike nose, easily can come apart. Not my type. Um, besides that, there wasn't really much anything else. Problems with, oh, yes. How can I not forget the missiles? The missiles underneath here, if you can see it up close, they keep coming undone. So, my advice if you're going to build this one, be careful with those two things. Pieces can easily come apart. So, yeah. My final verdict for this, I would say 6 out of 10. It's got some, some problems with it, but it's better than that Jeep one. So, on to the final one, the Cobra Hiss. Oh, also I forgot. Here's your dude. Same little arm problem, but he got a nice little helmet. Can't unfit the visors, though. So, that sucks. But still, next one. Sorry, guys. The video got to a little bit, but got the next bag going on with the Cobra Hiss team. I'm praying to God this would be a good one, because this one, like I said in my video, my last one, this tank is full of many memories to me, so I'm praying to God it will work. So, we got our sticker, got our booklet, let's get started. It's a decent good tank, but it's got some problems. The tracks, just rubber, not really what I expect, but it's the same thing as what I do expect. Um, um, you got the thing open up and down, but you can't fit the guy inside, obviously, because of the arms. And not to mention, the guy I had, his arm broke. So you see like his hand right there, and then this one completely broke off where it came. So I may return it, I don't know. Actually, I might keep it, because it might be, like, its own unique little thing and stuff. So, how do I rate this? Well, so far, it looks like the Hiss tank. Not bad. This thing can't close half the time. Some of the pieces are loose, so it can easily be broken off. Um, I give it a 6 out of 10. It's not bad. So, thank you all so much for watching this. And I will see you very shortly with tank reviews and boat reviews. But until then, have a good one, guys. And roll out.